The hidden secret ingredient is time. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Yeah, Pete was uh, kind enough to set this up and I appreciate you taking the time to um, do this with us. We just wanted to know, because we see you do all this great stuff and we're all looking to make, you know, 500,000 million dollars, like you say, a year. And we want to know what's the elements that we're missing because we do a lot of prospecting, the follow up and everything. We want to know what it is that you do that separates you from everybody else and how we can incorporate that into our thing. And what's the missing piece? I mean, there's definitely missing pieces that we don't know that we don't know. You know what I mean? So we're just trying to see what it is that you can, you know, bestow upon us your knowledge, how we can do better and make our businesses grow. How long have you been doing it? How long have you been selling in real estate? Mine, mine is going to be a little over a year, a year, two months, I would say. What about the, I mean, how long have you been doing it? Me, this is my sixth year. Mike, this is your sixth year. Sixth okay. year. And Anthony just started, right? Yeah. yeah. I think the biggest takeaway from this for you guys should be that I've been doing this 18 years. And so that's, I think the missing, gotcha. I think that's the missing link. I think that's the biggest missing part of your business. You know what I'm saying? That you can't just insert into your business. It's kind of like, it's kind of like when you're 10 years old and you want to be 21, you're not going to be, there's no way in the world you can be 21 tomorrow. You're never going to put that 10 years of experience from 10 years old to 20 years old. You know, you're never going to get that without going through the 10 years. The first thing, just right off the bat, generally speaking, without knowing anything about your business, you know, I hear you saying that you're prospecting and you're following up and you're doing all those things and we'll get into some details. But I think the just general overall answer is, is that get to 18 years and then you should be where you want to be. You know what I mean? Uh, fair See what I'm saying? Like, like there, there's no, there's no secret wand. Boom! You're all of a sudden gonna make 500,000 a day. You know what I mean? It's the same way I can't wave a magic wand and make a 10 year old a 20 year old. The hidden secret ingredient is time. You know what I'm saying? And experience and all the, the grinding you put into it because every day all the stuff that you do, all the prospecting and following up and all the things that you do, all that stuff compounds over time. You know, like the daily results that you get from prospecting keeps the bills paid, but the compounding efforts of talking to those people that don't do anything that add up to all this huge business later is what compounds into a real monster of a business. See what I'm saying? So we'll get into the nuts and bolts. I know you want more nuts and bolts uh, kind of stuff and that's fine. We'll get into all that, but I want you to know what I really think, you know, right up front is, is like, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, because I was, uh, in 2014, I made 600K. I wanted to make a million the next year. And so I put together this plan and I was like, okay, I got to talk to this many people, get this many listings, do this, this, and this, and then boom. I did an equation it was like, okay, now I'll make a million dollars next year. Well, January, February, March rolls around and I try to stick to the program. And by March, I realized I'm probably gonna make 600K again. I was on track to make 600K again, not a million. And so I became really super frustrated, you know? I was just really super, you know, frustrated is a good word for it. You know, through that process of going through that year and making 600K again, you know, really taught me the lessons of, you know, it's, things don't happen overnight and you have to be patient. And I was on the right track to get into that million, but it just wasn't my time yet. And so then I had to, that, that was the year I realized and really fell in love with just not being tied to the results. You know, not caring about that 500,000 you're trying to get to, but more so, are we putting forth as much effort every day that we can? You know what I mean? That was what, that's what's most important to me now is just, am I putting forth every drop of energy I can into everything that I can to where I'm gonna yield the highest results? See, the thing is, is you can't really control the results at the end of the day. If you could, you would make 500,000 this year because that's what you said you want. So if you could control the results, then you would make 500,000 this year. So that's a testament that you can't control the results.